My brother and I were around eight or nine years old. We lived with our cousins as both our parents were major alcoholics and did very little to provide for us. Oh, man. Ever since then, our cousins had full custody. One of my younger oh, cousins, named Rachel, no. always had this. Uh, uh, why a Chucky doll? It's a weird obsession with porcelain dolls. She was six years old and very weird. I don't know what it was about her, but she gave off such a strange and unsettling vibe, making you not want to be around her. Coming from a six-year-old, it's much more disturbing. <laughs> One night, I was home alone finishing up some homework from my science class. Right. When I heard what I could only describe as loud thuds coming from upstairs. Mm. Since I knew I was home alone, I figured that it was the wind or possibly rain as there were tropical storm warnings in the area. Five minutes later, I heard the same noise again, but much more louder. Uh -oh. My heart sank into the pit of my stomach as I feared that there was possibly someone in my house. Even though I was nine at the time, I was pretty brave. So I went upstairs very quietly oh, to the room where the I thought I heard noises, <clears throat> which was my aunt's room. Oh, dude, I, the I opened the door window. to the room, expecting for someone oh, to be there. No. But I was surprised to find absolutely no one. However, I did find one of Rachel's dolls sitting on the bed, oh, God. facing oh, directly toward me. Well, I run. left the room and thought nothing of it and brushed it off. But run. I for some reason had the urge to open the door again. And once I did, the doll was no longer on the bed, but run. rather on the floor face down. It is time At this to point, run. I'm clearly freaked out, but I didn't want to be in that room any longer. Run. I didn't tell my aunt or Rachel, thinking that they probably wouldn't believe me, but I know what I saw. I just can't even begin to explain it. Hmm. Why are you not in there? He's right behind you.